Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, it's the first time that I noticed these. Look at the dang lemons on this tree. Those have gotten a little sunburnt right there. But those lemons right there are just doing great. Look at that. Never noticed them on this tree before. And I walk by it I don't know, two or three times a day. Never noticed. Look at that one. I didn't think we had any lemons planted down here. I'll ask Marcel about it. Anyway, this is what the pond's looking like. It's steadily dropping because we can't get any rain here. And I've been diverting a decent amount of water into the Azola pits. We're going to dismantle this floating Azola pit contraption thing here that we had made. The water in this pond, the, the Azola, just won't grow in it. It's too, I'm, I'm almost certain it's too rich in nitrogen. And Azola doesn't like a high nitrogen water. And I think that's why it was dying. So uh, we're just going to use this for uh, when I need the 90s in it. We need the pipe for transfer pipes. So we're going to pull that out and dismantle it tomorrow. I wanted to take you around and show you uh, what's going on here with the Azola pits. We're not going to be able to get in, get to doing these until I don't know, maybe Monday. I got the, the guys did good work today on the fattening pen, um, might, I doubt it, might get it finished tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday, and then of course everyone is off on Sunday. And then we can begin on these in earnest uh, and get all these done next week. And, and let's see, we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14 of them. We'd have 14 pits. So the first thing we've got to do here is put a shade uh, a shade net over the rest of this so the guys have some shade to work in. That's the first thing. And that'll probably take a day. But it'll be a lot easier on him, a lot easier on him moving forward. There is one thing I wanted to show everyone. Um, you can see the difference in color in these two pits. Uh, the one on the left being kind of a lime green, and the one on the right, right being a much darker green, and all the rest of them are a much darker green. And if you'll notice, the shade stops right there. So about three quarters of the day, this pit's in sunshine direct sun and Azola just doesn't do that great in direct sun even for half a day I mean this is the sun comes up right over there and so this pit doesn't get sun probably till 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning but then it has direct so, direct sun for eight hours and it doesn't like it any, any more than eight hours now, any more than a few hours of direct sunlight, Azola doesn't like. It likes at least 50% shade, 70% is better. Um, these pits are doing really well. They're all really high, on, got a lot of water in them, getting ready to redo the other pits. Uh, Ippy, God bless her, way over harvested these pits last, today is Friday, last Monday. I mean, she just, I don't know what she was thinking. She just wasn't following directions. But she took almost all the Azola out of all these pits. And it's taken, and you guys, you know, I, I've made example videos of how fast this stuff grows. Uh, it's taken five days now, and these pits still aren't full. They still haven't recovered. It's going to take, it's going to be Monday until these pits are are ready to start harvesting from again. 
just from the over harvesting. You can get a lot out of these pits, but you can't take so much out of them. I mean, it doubles in mass about every three days. But if you take too much out of it, then it's got to double again to catch up to where it was supposed to be before you took too much out of it. And then it's another three days for it to double again so you can harvest. So she, she harvested about twice too much what she was supposed to. But that's been remedied. She's been re-educated on how much to take out. You can take out about one of those black buckets almost every day. Like every other day you can take out a black bucket like that out of each pit. And that holds about uh, four kilos. So we can get about two kilos a day out of these pits. That's their, that's their production. So with 14 pits, uh, we'll just say 30 kilos a day is what we could get out of these 14. Which is pretty dang good as far as I'm concerned. Every day, 30 kilos of feed. I'm liking it. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.